Hello friends, today we will be doing Math Kangaroo level 1 and 2 year 2023. We will be doing, uh, we'll be doing five point uh, questions. Now in the earlier video, we had, I had covered the three pointers, which is question 1 to question 8, which are the three point questions and then question 9 to question 16, which were the four point questions. And in this video, we'll cover uh, the five point questions, which is from question 17 to question 24. So let's start. Question number 17. Elvis has six identical triangles like this. Which of the following pictures can he make? Whenever we get these visual questions, instead of you know finding the right answer, let's start eliminating the option so that it is easier to get to the correct answer. Like now, can we if we see C? Now, you know, it is straight away not the answer because here you don't have a line. So C is not the answer. Then if you look at E, again, the X is different. So E is not the answer. If you look at D, you don't have these double lines. So D is not the answer. Again, B is not the answer because you don't have an X like this, right? So my answer for question 17 is option E because that's the only option left. Or you can also start with A and then check for the other options. Let's read question number 18. Five children share a birthday and each child has their own cake. Leah is two years older than Jose and one year younger than Ali. Victorio is the youngest, which is Sarah's cake. So you have five of these cakes. So there are five children. And uh, so which one is Sarah's cake? So let's just start with this. Vitario is the youngest. So this is the youngest of so this cake belongs to Vitario. Then you have the numbers 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now Leah is 2 years older than Jose. Okay, now if I take Jose as this, then Leah is 2 years older than Jose but 1 year younger than Ali. So Ali is older than Leah, so it will not fit in. But if I do the same thing, like uh, Jose is this and Leah is this and Ali is this. So Leah is two years older than Jose and one year younger than Ali. So the number six belongs to Sarah. So which is Sarah's cake? So Sarah's cake is the one which has the number six, which is option C. Question number 19. The map shows five villages A, B, C, D, E and the distances in kilometers between them. Only two villages are at the same distance apart no matter which route you choose. Which of these are two villages? Now let's start with this option. See, these are the villages A, B, C, D and E and these are the distances between them. Now if we go from for B to E, suppose we go from here to here. So what is the distance? 2 plus 6 plus 4, you get a 12. And suppose you go from here to here, okay, from B to E from this side. So you get 7 plus 5, which is 12. So if you go from right or you go from left, you still get the same distance, which is 12 kilometers. But let's just try for, uh, let's just try for the other options that we have. Uh, let's just do for B and D. So if suppose you go from B to D, like from B to D, then this side you have 2 plus 6. This is already done. So this is 8. But if you go from here to here, you get 7 plus 5 plus 4. That is 9 plus 7, which is 16. So it is not equal. So this is not my answer. So similarly, if you do it for option E, D and C, it will not match. It will match only for option A. So my answer for question 19 is option A. Let's read question 20. Sam walks through a two-story maze from the entrance to the exit, both located at floor one. In what floor did she find the wall stickers? So this is the entry and this is the exit, both are floor one. So it's a two-story building, one and floor one and floor two. So you enter from here in what order will she find the wall stickers? 
So what it means is you enter from here. Okay, there's no other door. So you will go through this door. Then there is no other door. You will go through this door. You go through this door. Now there is no other door here. Like even if you go here, there's nothing there. So you'll come back through this door, go through this door, go through this door. And then these are the stairs which are going up. So this is where it will come. So you come on the second floor, go through this door, go through this door. The first thing that you'll find is the shark. Now, the moment I find a shark, what all options can I eliminate? I can eliminate option A, C, and D. So I have option B and E with me. Okay. <clears throat> then from here, you will go here. This is the door. This is the door. This is the door. So then from the shark, you will get this uh, rhino. Okay. So I've got my answer right here. So my answer will be option B, which is this. Otherwise, we can still continue. So it goes through this door. Okay. And then it will go through this door. These are the stairs which are going down. You will come down from here. Go through this door. Uh, meet the frog. Go through this door and exit. So my answer will be option B. <clears throat> Question 21. Emma finished third in a solo dance competition. There were three other dancers between her and the last place. In total, how many dancers took part in the competition? So how do we do this? So Emma finished third. So Emma is here. And there were three dancers between her and the last place. So this was the last place. So there were three dancers in between. So how many dancers took part in the competition? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there were seven people in the competition. So my answer for 21 is option D. Question 22. Malik places one of the five pieces on the grid. So these are the five pieces and this is the grid. He cannot rotate or flip the pieces. Rotate means like if the piece is like this, you cannot rotate it to be, uh, you know, like this. So you cannot rotate it to be like this or, you know, you cannot flip it. Flip it as in you cannot make it like this, right? So you cannot rotate or flip it. Which piece should he use to cover the numbers with the largest sum? So let's check the options. Uh, suppose you take option A. So you go like this. See, the piece is like this. So you go like this. So what are the numbers? 2 plus 8 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7. So you have 8 plus 2, 10. 7 plus 3, 10, 20. So this is a 24. Then you have like this. So you have a 7 plus 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 8. So you get a 10 and 9, 19. So this becomes a 26. Now you have these numbers, which is 6 plus 5 plus 8 plus 9 plus 4. So we do 6 plus 5, 11 plus 9, 20, 28. So this becomes a 32. And if we do these, so I get 1 plus 6 plus 5 plus 8 plus 3. So 7, 10, 28, and you get a 33. And if you check this number, so you get a 6 plus 7 plus 5 plus 8 plus 9. So that's uh, again 6 plus 5, 11, 20, 28, and 35. So uh, this one is the biggest total. So my answer will be option. Question 23. In total, Maria has 19 apples in three bags. From each bag, she takes out same number of apples. Now the bags have three, four, and six apples. How many apples did Maria take out of each bag? So what we know is total apples in the beginning were 19. Okay. And now how many apples are left? You have 3 plus 4 plus 6. So whenever you're adding them, always look for numbers which make a 10. So 6 plus 4, 10 plus 3, 13. So you subtract, you get a 6. So 6 apples in all have been taken from these 3 bags. 
So I have three bags. So I'll divide it by three. So how many apples have been taken from each bag? Two apples have been taken. So my answer is option two, uh, option B. Question number 24. Three frogs live in a pond. Each night, one of the frogs sings a song to the other two. After nine nights, one of the frogs had sung two times. Another frog had listened to five songs. How many songs had the third frog listened to? So let's just say there is frog one, there's frog two, and there is frog three. And there, were, there have been nine nights. So basically, total songs that have been sung is nine because every day they're singing just one song. Okay, how many songs have been sung and how many have been listened? Now they're saying one of the frogs have sung two songs and another frog has listened to five songs. So this guy has listened to five songs, so he's not listening to his own song. So how many songs have frog three sung? He sung three songs, correct? And uh, another frog, yeah. And how many frogs had the third frog listened to? So this is the third frog. So the total number of songs are nine. So two plus three is nine. So how many songs have frog two sung? He has sung four songs. So it totals up to nine. And then how many uh, how many songs had the third frog listened to? He will not listen to his own song. So he has listened to six songs. So my answer is option B. Uh, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you like this video. And do check the other videos on the three pointers and the four pointers for your 2023. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.